The road to the next flight of SpaceX's Starship rocket is paved with upgrades and modifications, much of which have already been ticked off. After a week of rocket stacking and speculation, capped by the Federal Aviation Administration announcing the end of the SpaceX-led mishap investigation, SpaceX founder Elon Musk unveiled a list of 63 corrective actions needed to be complete before the next integrated flight test of their Starship rocket. 57 out of 63 are shown as complete, with a number of items having been discussed in the latest updates post from SpaceX. Of the remaining six items, four of them are connected to the Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster, one involves booster reliability, and the others concern avionics. During the first integrated flight test, Starship experienced what SpaceX called, quote, sustained fires from leaking propellant in the aft end of the Super Heavy booster, which eventually severed connection with the vehicle's flight computer. This led to a loss of communications to the majority of booster engines and, ultimately, control of the vehicle. A graphical display of the engines in real time showed a number of them going offline during the ascent, and that was also spotted by the ground tracking cameras. Since that launch, SpaceX increased its fire suppression at the aft end of the rocket by 15 times and added methane sensors in each engine bay. Other improvements on the rocket include valve modifications and adding safety system updates, like upgrading and requalifying the autonomous flight safety system that ultimately detonated the rocket after a delayed command execution. Launch infrastructure was also addressed in the checklist. Improvements like the water-cooled pad deck are also complete. Musk says the six outstanding items, like improved igniter seal design and oxygen valve improvements, quote, refer to later flights. As with the first Starship launch license, the FAA won't speculate on when a license modification will be issued. One other outstanding X factor? In a letter to SpaceX, the FAA's manager of its Safety Assurance Division noted that, quote, the FAA's closure of the mishap investigation does not predetermine the results of any ongoing or further environmental reviews associated with Starship operations at Boca Chica. SpaceX continues to work with regulators to figure out how soon a Starship rocket can take to the skies once again. Reporting for Spaceflight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.